Man land, this is God giving nothing from blue tops like Mars Simpson, just hard discipline, pot simmering, cooking up, no rocks in the pan, watching the plan for me. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? I wish we had found that girl that killed that guy. Maybe she had a reason. Maybe she was just defending herself. What difference would it make? We know what happened. The defective machine killed a human. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? Uh, no doubts. No mistakes. No weaknesses. Human being just like me. Only perfect. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. Alcohol makes you aggressive. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some 
unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. Stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
37th floor. I need your help. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in.
Let's do this. is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you... What are you doing? Got much time.
Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you are the one we've been waiting for. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Thank you.
Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem... Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated. But I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviance. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I am of no importance. The mission is all that matters. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live then made their get away from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there.
Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. 
Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing which means there's a Deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroyed! If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you.
I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We have to be careful. If it feels wrong, we get out fast, okay? I'm with you. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? We'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while.
didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I wasn't sleepy. to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what happened if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! 
We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. You know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. If I tell you, you won't love me anymore. Alice, you know that's not true. Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. The police! It's the police! Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. 
Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. journey without me. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Getting cats out of thoughts and I hear late nights, no sleep in my bed, trying to see my dreams manifest. Look at that, now look at that, we night. Put the pants on ice. I was bad like Mike. Oh, now I'm good like Kendra said, boy, we gon' be alright. I just double my price. I get love on sight. That's the only love I like. Now look at that, we nice. For all the ones who showed it. 